what do you think was the biggest challenge you faced on dog two? Because it's nature, it literally will throw anything at you. You're going to have such a crazy, but brief could be incredible, couldn't it? Whatever. I think, what, I think for Susan and I, it would have been um, the melting face that we did for um, uh, a story in the first set of stories we did. Um, it, it was an effect, so we would normally have done masks and things, it was slightly different for us. Um, but knowing that, you know, the worst thing you can do, which you guys probably remember, especially you, Michael, is to, is to hold up any time in the studio. Um, you, we, we made two of them so that we thought, well, at least if one doesn't work, the other one hopefully will. Um, it, it was a complicated enough thing to make, and it was a complicated thing to set up. And we'd all thought about it carefully. Susan and I hadn't we discussed it with Mike and the, the designers and so on. And it really, it did just work as sweet as a nut, didn't it? And it was pushed right to the end of the day, which all of this stuff always is, because it's a, those sort of effects, they're nice to have, but they don't forward the story anything or in any way. He could have died, they could have whited it out or, or whatever. And we were literally about to go home. It was about quarter to ten, and the designer had said, oh, you may as well go home, they're not going to do it. And so we packed it up, or started packing it up, and then he came over and said, no, 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 quick, unpack it, they're, they're going to do it. And we, we raced on. And it just went sweet as a nut, didn't it? Everybody piled in, and we had hot air burners just outside the scope of the camera, and you were holding one, weren't you, do you remember, in Rocky? And, yeah, it just when it really did go beautifully, it could have gone horribly wrong because it was complicated. Wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think just following on from that, I mean, what was one of the both blessings and curse of the effects department was that producers and directors would sit down in front of you and go, "We want it to be like that effect from Raiders of the Lost Ark," <laughs> close encounter of the third kind, with no concept, time, money, and that was exactly what the Dragon Fire melting face was. They'd seen this beautiful effect from Raiders, which was Chris Wallace and um, layers of gelatin that were melted. And they went, you can do that, can't you? And, and Stephen's right, it gets left till quarter to ten, because that way all your actors are wrapped. They're the important talent. So they go, right, let's do the effects work. And you've got ten minutes, fifteen minutes. And what was frustrating is that the, the melting of Cain was actually a two-part effect. There was the close-up of the effect of the face, and there was meant to be a melting body. <laughs> and, and Andy McVeigh, in his wisdom, decided that going down to a local adult store and buying an inflatable figure, <laughs> suspending it from ceiling points, would allow us to release the air from the doll lower the ceiling hoist and it would look like the figure was collapsing into the floor. Well, the, the instructions to the guy operating the ceiling hoist didn't get given, so the figure deflated and the trousers fell off. <laughs> <laughs> um, but again, I'll go back to what Stephen was saying. You don't sit there and go, don't be ridiculous. That's a multi-million pound film that we're trying to match. You go, yeah, all right. What, 10 minutes and, and, and 40 quid? Yeah, okay. <laughs> and, yeah it was 45. 45. 